So, you know, I'm not going to deal with the family thing. To my mind, it's sick and it's disgusting. But I'll tell you what I am going to talk about tonight. I'm going to talk about the challenges facing the elderly in this country. As I move around this island, as I move around this island and interact, the senior citizens of this, on this island, people over 65, 70 years old, who did not have the opportunity to contribute to social security. These people are out there without a pension, without social security, and they are struggling. They are hurting. Most of these people are on high blood pressure medication. Most of these people have challenges with diabetes. Most of these people have challenges just buying food. It is shameful that last night, when most of us, most of us, were expecting the United Front to come and speak to the people of this island about hope and opportunity for the youth of this country. Hope and opportunity for the working people of this country. Hope and care for the elderly of this country. They spent the entire time defaming me and defaming other citizens of this country. The time has come. The time has come for us to love. The time has come for us to care more for each other and care more about the needs of the people of this country than about the needs of the investors. Today, our government is out there appealing to you to re-elect them so they can go out and continue to give concessions to the developers while the elderly in this country are hurting. Yeah. Our government is ready to go out there and give jobs to the Indians and the Chinese while the youth of this country yeah. are sitting around unemployed. This is unacceptable. That's why I stepped out from the comfort of my office to represent the people of this country. I am prepared to give my life for this country. I stand tall. Nothing but 
rhetoric, let me tell you something. Nobody knows of the love that a mother has for a son. Nobody knows of the love that a son has for his mother. If my mother was alive tonight, my mother would be proud of me and standing here next to me. My mother believed in the vision and the dreams of this country, my fellow Englishman. My mother believed in the dreams of this country. Right? There are some people, there are some people in this country, there are some people in this country, especially the elderly people in this country, the elderly people in this country resolve that they would rather die than be under an administration that was oppressive. We as Angolans, we as Angolans are called to action. We are called to action to rescue this country. Now I want to talk, I want to talk directly. I want to talk tonight directly to the United Front supporters. Just for a minute, those of you who are not supporting the United Front, you can stay quiet for a minute. I want to talk to the United Front supporters. Are you realizing the Angola dream? Are you realizing the Angola dream right now? Do you have your family living in comfort? Are you comfortable that you can pay your obligations to the bank right now? Are you comfortable? Are you comfortable that you are able to educate your children going forward? Are you comfortable that you are safe in your home right now? Are you comfortable? Do you have sufficient money in the bank that will take you through a period of financial difficulty that will last more than six months or a year? Are you there? If you are there, continue to support the United Front. My friends, if you are not there, you have a responsibility and an obligation to yourself. You have a responsibility and an obligation to yourself. My fellow Angolans, if tragedy, and please listen to me for a second, if tragedy was to hit your family today, and you have to fly a relative to Puerto Rico, to Barbados, to Miami, are you in a position to pay out a hundred thousand US dollars? Are you in a position to pay out a hundred thousand US dollars? I can say that most of us cannot afford to spend a hundred thousand US dollars on health care. We cannot afford to spend a hundred thousand US dollars on health care. Our Minister of Finance said on a radio program recently, when the next government gets in, that is, when he gets back in power, he will fix the insurance issue because it has got to be a priority. This is a man who has been in politics for almost 30 years, three zero years. But he's going to fix the problem with health insurance when he gets in next time. My fellow Angolans, this is unacceptable. If you were to look at the probability of that happening, I would say it is slim to none that will happen in the next term. Because if he did not do it in 30 years, what makes you think it's going to be a priority the next time around? If his past performance is an indication of his future performance, don't hold your breath. Don't hold your breath. Meanwhile, what happens in this country is these guys go around and they try to manipulate you and have you believe that all is well. They're going to have you celebrating good times between now and the election. But if they are not going to take care of your needs from now till the next election, you better be careful. You are going to get stitched up somewhere along the way. My fellow Angolans, past performance is oftentimes an indication of future performance. Be mindful. Don't be led blindly. I am not looking for political power. I am looking for political change. A positive change that will enable a better opportunity for our children and a better quality of life for our working citizens today. And, 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 and if these changes were enabling the elderly among us to live better, I would not have to run for office. I would not have to run for office. I am coming out because of the cries of the people that I've been hearing.
going around. The pride of the people. I can no longer sit back and say, I don't care. I cannot do it. My conscience doesn't permit me to do it. The time has come for you too to step out of your comfort zone and let us do the right thing for this country. Step out of your comfort zone, my fellow Angolans.